This is Signal Hounds Talking RF, and today we're talking sweep speed. Sweep speed is defined as the time required to finish one sweep of the source signal from start to finish in a chosen frequency range. Signal Hound products offer a real-time analysis mode that allows for zero lag from one sweep to the next, providing fast and accurate RF data when it's needed most. Hello and welcome to Talking RF. Sean here with Justin Crooks, Senior RF Engineer and Hardware Designer for all Signal Hounds products. Today we're talking sweep speed. The sweep speed in Signal Hound products allows real-time analysis, which is important in spectrum analysis, because the faster you can analyze your data, the more accurate your analysis will be. If your speeds are slower or encumbered by outside factors, you'll miss data or it will take more time to convert the data you are looking for. Sweep speed, yeah, so it's just a measurement of how much spectrum you can cover in gigahertz divided by how long it takes. Um, and for our real-time uh, spectrum analysis modes, we'll actually loop continuously across that spectrum. So uh, for our products, when we talk about a terahertz per second sweep speed, we're actually uh, talking about gap-free continuous cycling across that spectrum. Is there a point where real-time spectrum analysis becomes the only way to solve the problem? Uh, let's say your signal isn't a millisecond, but let's say it's a microsecond, and you have to capture it. Uh, for applications like that, you need continuous monitoring of that gap-free uh, for that spectrum. For something like the SM200 or the SM435, that's going to be 160 megahertz, where we can provide continuous gap-free coverage. If there's a one microsecond signal, uh, independent of what RBW you've selected, you're going to get a response. Um, if you were trying to observe a gigahertz with an SM200, uh, there's going to be gaps. It's because it's cycling through seven uh, or so uh, steps in that gigahertz and so if the signal happens here when it's you know analyzing over here there is a chance you could miss it um, and for that you you have to have your, your real-time bandwidth greater than the amount of spectrum that you're trying to monitor and in, in a real-world scenario can you give me an example of where that would work and why that is important to that specific real-world use case uh, sure. So let's say you've got a frequency hopper that you're trying to make sure that it's uh, hopping in the right pattern or something. Um, and you know that it is transmitting five millisecond packets and then hopping to the next frequency. That's a fairly typical thing that, that would be done. With something like the SM200 and in some cases even the, the BB60D, uh, you'd be able to monitor enough spectrum with uh, you know enough times per second uh, to be able to guarantee that you know you could actually determine that hop pattern uh, with uh, something like a, a radar pulse where if it's like an LPI a low probability of intercept radar and it's happening random locations for you know microsecond bursts not not many milliseconds uh, that's that's where you're limited by the the real time uh, capture bandwidth of the instrument. And what products that we, that we have here uh, can do that type of sweet speed analysis? So depending on your needs, the SM200 is of course going to be the fastest at terahertz per second. Uh, the BB60D is going to come in around 24 gigahertz per second, and we've got an SP145 coming fairly soon. Uh, that'll be somewhere in between. Uh, so depending on how long those uh, packets last and how wide the span is that you need to monitor uh, determines which instrument will satisfy those needs. Thank you again for your time today, Justin. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. SignalHound designs and builds high-performance, real-time USB-powered spectrum analyzers and tracking generators that offer unrivaled value in RF test and measurement technology. Our products provide the quality and accuracy required whether you are a hobbyist, commercial, or military user. Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and if you have any questions for Justin, please feel free to leave them and we'll get back to you. Like, follow, and subscribe for more RF and SignalHound content.